Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. And today we're gonna to talk about how to save money. Perhaps the easiest way to save money when you get married is your wedding day. Social media nowadays has put so much pressure on young people to have the most extravagant wedding, the most extravagant uh, engagement pictures. Like this is a, a new trend where you actually get professional pictures done for your engagement. It's it's a new thing. It is what it is. I'm not giving uh, people a, a really hard time about doing that kind of thing. If that's what you want to do, it's all good. It's no skin off my nose. But all of that stuff costs money and it's expensive. And the biggest thing that's driving this trend is social media. Insta the, the Instagram photos, the, the reels. Everyone's trying to outdo each other, and it's been going on for years, but I think at this point it's gotten out of control. I'm not going to talk about the engagement photos. I want to focus on the wedding. Okay, if you want to save money just starting out in a, in a marriage, the wedding is the easiest thing to save money on. Okay, people want to do these big-time venues. These, these places uh, are very expensive. My uh, associate that I work with, uh, he got married about three years ago and was telling me some of these prices that uh, of these venues, and it's just ridiculous. Uh, I couldn't believe the costs of just renting out like a, a winery uh, to have an outdoor wedding on mountaintops and all this stuff. That's fine and dandy. If you if you want an extravagant wedding, you do you. Okay, just realize that there's a cost associated with that. And it is excessive. Expenses for weddings are at an all-time high. And it's all because of social media, in my opinion. That's just me. Uh, like I said, if you want a, an extravagant wedding, you do you. The reason why these venues are so expensive is because a lot of people are fighting over them. They're in high demand. And high demand equals high prices. All right? More elaborate. The more elaborate weddings, the more expensive they are. And you can downright spend a mint on these things. $50,000 is a common price tag for weddings nowadays. I couldn't believe that stat. Wow, that's a lot of money, especially when you're just starting out. That's a really healthy down payment on a house. So what's the easiest way to save money on a wedding? <laughs> this used to be common sense, but it's incredible to me that young people have a tendency not to know this fact or they don't take advantage of this fact. But the number one way to save money on a wedding is get married in a church. Okay? Get married in a church. What happened to that? To be honest with you, I mean, if you're Christian or if you're, you're deeply religious, that's one thing. But financially speaking, most churches don't really require a fee, especially at your the church that you grow up in. That's the kind of place that you're looking for. A simple chapel wedding most chapels can can hold 100, 150 people, and uh, and it doesn't cost hardly anything. It, I almost get the impression that it's almost a, a faux pas now to get married in a church, and I don't understand that. And like I said, I'm not I'm not going to be overly religious in this episode, but financially speaking, it's cheap. <laughs> it's cheaper, uh, and it's a great venue. You could spend a little bit more money on your reception at that point. My wife and I, we got married 20 years ago. I realized that we're in a totally different world now. But all said and done, everything was, it was a nice wedding. We had a lot of trimmings. We had a great reception. And it cost less than 10 grand, you know. And it gave us a very, very good financial foothold to propel, our, to propel ourselves into home ownership, uh, paying off a lot of our debt. We were in a great position. And we did that because mainly because we got married in the church. So, folks, I don't want to get into the weeds too much with this episode because it really it's it's not that difficult to understand. If you want the extravagant wedding, if you want the expense, and you want the the hoopla and the rigmarole, where you can display yourself on social media, you do you. I'm not criticizing. You know, it's your special day. I get it, but realize that it's one day. Your wedding day is a special day, and it really doesn't have a whole lot to do with how much money you spent. 
It was one of the best days of my life. And we spent less than 10 grand total on it. And uh, it gave us a very, very good opportunity to wipe out a ton of our debt and have a really good, healthy down payment on a house right out of the gate. So you do you. Get married in a church. So if you like this material, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate those that have already done that. It really helps me out just getting started with the channel. And until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.